Recent images posted on the internet indicate that Russians are actively developing new technological solutions to safeguard their tactical aircraft from Ukrainian drones. In this instance, they have created an impromptu lightweight hangar constructed from a metal framework covered with mesh wire. One possible objective here may be to ensnare hostile drones in the wire, akin to how Ukrainians capture Russian Lancet drones that target artillery positions. Alternatively, this structure could be designed to mitigate the impact of shrapnel or fragments when enemy suicide drones detonate near the aircraft. A noteworthy detail is that they utilized a decommissioned Su-27 aircraft for the demonstration of their innovative concept. This choice may imply that this method of aircraft protection is still in the experimental stage and could undergo further development. It's worth acknowledging that this type of defense appears more effective than the unconventional approach of covering planes with car tires in an attempt to obscure heat signatures and render them invisible to the heat-seeking sensors of drones. Previously, this unconventional tire-based protection method was observed on strategic aircraft and even Su-34 tactical bombers. However, it should be noted that the tire coat approach cannot effectively shield tactical or strategic aviation from reconnaissance technologies, western missile guidance systems, or the explosions caused by attack drones. Instead, it primarily prolongs the preparation time required for aircraft to embark on missions. Interestingly, in early August of this year, Russian media had already reported the construction of similar shelters for Su-34 aircraft stationed at the Baltimore Air Base in Voronezh. These shelters, though, were different as they lacked mesh or a roof to shield against shrapnel. Prior to this, Defense Express had disclosed that Russians had implicitly acknowledged that a single Tu-141 Struz drone had managed to inflict damage on three Tu-22M3 strategic bombers and a KH-32 missile during an attack in December 2022.